Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another video and today's video is going to be about how much should I charge for a website? So, some of you have been asking me this question and you, if you are starting out doing some freelancing and you are not sure about uh, how much you should charge, I'm just going to give you a couple of advices and share my own experience with you. First of all, let me just tell you something that uh, <laughs> this is like really really important. When you are starting out, I would advise, and not just starting out, I think this is like a really good advice overall, you should charge just a fixed price for the website and not an hourly rate. And, um, and uh, this price should be not for the website, but for your time. <laughs> I know it's a bit confusing, but let, let me explain. If you charge, let's say, $200 for a website, yeah, and you deliver the website and um, the client comes to you and they say, oh, I really like the website, but can you change this font? Can you change this image? Can you make this um, section a bit taller? You know, dealing with clients <laughs> It's like hell, I'm telling you. There are, there are a few clients that they are really good people, you know, they, they understand how you work, but, but some of them, they, they don't know what they want <laughs> and uh, or everything that you do, they are like, like, like this, oh, I'm not sure if this is okay, maybe we could try this, maybe we could try that. And uh, all of a sudden, for example, a website that you could build in a week, and you charge, for example, $200, you are going back and forth with all, all these fixes and changes that they want, it will take you like two, three weeks, and you are just like working for free. <laughs> so just, just take, take, take this in mind. Whenever you are charging for a website, you should say this, pay attention that this is very important. I will build this website for you, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not asking for... Um, this, this is not the price for the website, but for my time. I will build this website in a week and the website will be ready in a week. If you need anything else, like any changes or something, you would have to buy another time, let's say like one week more. So you should charge, for example, $200 and you say, in, in, um, this website is going to be done in a week and you are paying me for a week of my work, of my time. If you need something else, you need to pay another time, like you need to pay me for another two days or another three days or whatever, and you will set up the price for that. So um, this would be like the, the first step. If you are starting out, you don't have too much experience dealing with the clients, with these things, you know. You should also do a contract with them to make sure that uh, they are not asking like infinite changes or whatever, you know, because there are some clients who are really crazy. So you, you should stipulate all of these in a kind of contract. There are many templates online which you can choose. So yeah, this is, this is just starting out. And as you are advancing and you are getting more and more uh, clients, um, I would say that you should you should start increasing to 300, 500, a thousand dollars. is is not difficult at all, guys. One thing that you have to to bear in mind is something like this: the more you charge, it will, you you will just get the better clients, let's say, because there are some people out there that they want you to work like for <laughs> for just a few dollars and they want you to work like crazy like oh I want to pay fifty dollars for your website but I want you to do this I want you to do that 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 the, this is the the worst kind of people the ones that they they want to pay the minimum and they want you to do everything you know so stay away from these uh, kind of clients and uh, like I said, as you, you are advancing, just charge more and more. And if you can set up something on your, uh, on your own website, something like kind of reviews, 
from past clients just make sure that um, you have good reviews from them ask them when you finish the project with them uh, if they can give you a good review because new clients will come and they will see all these uh, good reviews and if you are charging more this is all about psychology you know people they will if you charge let's say a thousand dollars two thousand dollars for a website and they will see all these good reviews they will be like oh my god this this guy is really good why the why is charging so much this is the same thing if you are going to um, to to shop and you see some some jeans that they are very expensive and you are like oh my god why these jeans are so expensive they must be very good it's the same, it's the same shit like uh, everywhere the more you charge people they will just start thinking wow why is he charging so much maybe he's really good maybe he's you know all these kind of things um, you should take in consideration and um, yeah like i said just charge charge for a period of time not for the website itself and um, and yeah it, it should work for you guys because um, if you are just charging just a little bit it's not worth your time and um, <laughs> you you are <laughs> How do I say this? You are not even uh, bringing any value to you. And something that you should do is also like try to always surprise the, the client. If, for example, you are saying that you're going to deliver a, a website in, um, in two weeks, deliver in one, you know? But you don't tell them that, just surprise them so they will uh, be like, wow, this guy is really good. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you have any other questions, just let me know. If you have some suggestions for next videos, just let me know in the comments down below. Like this video if you like it, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.